Welcome back to Highwater Pass. Uh, we went ahead and finished up this whole area through here uh, last episode. And I do want to make a correction real quick. I realized watching the footage back through that I keep referring to the animals that we're going to be putting through here as tigers. I in fact meant jaguars. I did not forget about the jaguars. I had, um, there's a new tiger mod up on Nexus Workshop. And I was thinking about the tigers from that, <laughs> and so the whole time I said tiger, tiger, um, I actually really did mean jaguar. We really are going to put jaguars through here. As far as I know, there's not actually going to be any tiger tigers in the zoo. Um, my point about this being completely, you know, not- <laughs> this being completely escapable still stands. Um, but yeah, so- this really is going to be tigers, or uh, jaguars. This really is going to be jaguars. Um, again, there's these really cool slate tigers that somebody made, and slate tigers are, are not realistic. And somebody else has jungle tigers. It's, it's so cool. Uh, so that's on. That's been on my mind. Uh, for this next episode, uh, we are going to be working through this whole area. Um, I'm going to get the path laid down, and uh, we talked last time about maybe adding another entrance in here. I will probably end up doing that, and then uh, we will go ahead and map where and how we want the next set of animals through here. Uh, this this patch through here may end up being just trees, and there's nothing like going on. We might turn this into a lake. That'd be cute. Um, so we will play it by ear, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the into the time lapse.
Thank you.
Alrighty, and welcome back from the time reel. So, um, you'll notice that there's a little bit of stuff that uh, did not get in the footage. That'll be in next episode. I completely blanked and forgot to record an outro at the time that I was supposed to. So this is, this is post. Um, just for a warning, but, you know, all the details are there, so I'm gonna go over what we did in the video today. Most of what we did centered around this building right here, this bridge, and then this building right here, and then fleshing all of this uh, grass out. Basically, what we ended up doing was, um, I've got, I, I was hoping to do free look instead of standard uh, mode, but um, it's just too slow. This is, this is sort of a weird situation because, I mean, technically we did a lot, but there's, there's not a lot that is so self-unexplanatory. Um, these, I don't know what to do with this. I might pull it out. I might put a, a ban, like a, like a, not a ban, um, a band through here just to cover up the weird glitching. Um, the flooring in here <laughs> took forever. And then I got my head screwed on right and said, oh, why don't I just delete everything, flatten it out, and do the actual flooring underneath all of this instead of trying to do flooring underneath the wood. Um, we got it nice and flush. So we've got our little bit of a rest stop through here. We've got a couple of shops through here. Um, I would like to decorate this little corner and maybe do something with this little corner. And then we go up and there's this wonderful outlook, um, which I'm very happy about. Normally we don't use these, um, the railings like at all, but this is such a weird space that I felt that using the railings would probably save us a lot of time and effort. And I mean, they're not awful. They're a little thin for my liking. Like, I don't think that that would really support people. So you can look down on the beavers and onto the, um, the moose deer enclosure. Get a little bit of an aerial view of the bears through here. Again, that is next episode. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun. Um, and then of course uh, we did these little things right here. I am so in love with these little these little jelly bean guys that we got as part of the conservation pack that I couldn't not include them. They're so cute. So we've got our Przewalski's horse and this would be an Amor leopard but he's actually going to hint towards the jaguar who lives over there and the Przewalski's horse is coming. So did this cute little barn. Um, did this all by hand. Uh, you'll notice in the footage that I did this like weird thing where I made one side or one slat a, a lighter color and then a, another slat a much darker color. When we look at it like head on, you can see that I've done that. But the actual point of it is to create the illusion of depth. So normally what would happen is that we would have slats of the exact same color and they would be recessed and then that shadow would be cast down and make the make it appear as a different color. And it would it would give that illusion of depth. We've had to do it artificially through here on this barn so that way um, you get more of, of that look because these are just little 2x4s. Um, and so they're not actually going to give you the depth that you would think you would have on a much bigger item. So again, we're using a little bit of, of color illusion and trickery in order to create depth where none actually exists. I'm rather happy with it. I think he looks really good. Um, I think this whole scene does. And then <laughs> this is this is just cute. And again, I wanted to do like a cat in the jungle. He's frolicking through the jungle, you know, and then onto the, the outlook. This is a little precarious right here. Um, so I will probably go through and clean that up. And then this right here, this is less so. There's less of a chance that you're gonna fall off the cliff than through here. Like all this takes is one little push and then you're on the ground. So we need to fix that. And then this bridge, this is literally the bridge that I used down there. Um, I, I picked it up, I copy pasted it, and then I fixed my angles. Partially because I didn't feel like there was a point in reinventing the wheel. Partially because we have this nice little um, this valley through here that just, it, it just came like this, you know? Like, this was a little bit more rounded and then we flattened it out, but this whole thing just came like that. Um, 
We did our rock work, cleaned this up through here. We didn't do this again. This is something else. Did our little bit of rock work. Um, and then of course we put in our paths and we put in this uh, staff facility right here. So the plan is that these trees, um, let's look at this from the aerial view. So you'll see, again, I've already continued it this way. So we've got this nice thick dense forest which is gonna have to come down into here. Some of the trees have been cut down through here. We're gonna get a little bit of foliage. So this will be like a shaded area in the woods when we're done. It won't be this open prairie looking thing. I'm waiting on that a little bit so that way we can make sure to get the uh, the amount of coverage right for the animals who are going to go into this upper area. And then we did, um, not that path, but we did this through here and down this way all the way over here. So next episode. I'm not going to give you a preview because I've already done it and I don't I don't want to show off spoilers. So next time we are going to be doing a lot of rock work, a lot of planning. It's going to feel like not a whole lot gets done, but we're going to be la laying the the base of like, you know, um what this area is going to look like. And then we're going to go around the zoo and we're going to do some touch-up details. So Hopefully that'll be fairly entertaining to watch. I don't know. Um, that one I might record extra long and then chunk it down and then do before and afters for some of the uh, for some of the parts. Just because again, it's a lot of boring rock work. <laughs> it's not it's not gonna be visually appealing, but we're gonna get a lot done. It's just not gonna feel like it. So anyway, I hope that you all will join me for that. Um, we are going to continue this sort of theme throughout the area and make it look nice. I've got a couple more buildings planned that I haven't built yet. Um, and yeah, just get this whole area built through. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you later.